Are you a prospective university student? Are you wondering how to get once that admission letter hits you? Then stay tuned because this video is just for you. My name is Joyce Lynn. You can also call me Ketri Josie. I'm a third year student at the University of Cape Coast, Ghana. I'm a YouTuber and a podcast host and everything in between. So concerning what you have to bring to school, I'm going to categorize them into three. So we have the academic essentials, then we have the postal essentials, then we have the clothing or the personal fits. So I'll begin with the academic essentials. You would need a laptop, that is first on my list, because um, that is where you will be um, doing your assignments, as in typing your assignments and all of that, and also reading your lecture slides and your ebooks and all of that, and also preparing your presentation slides as well. And the academic part aside to it's gonna serve as a form of entertainment for you because you know you might keep your movies and your music and other stuff there as well. And then once you have a laptop, you definitely need um, a storage device like a pen drive, you know, to house your personal effects and your assignments and all of that. Alright, so you also need stationery, and by stationery I mean, I mean um, books, pens, highlighters and all of that, you know, books to jot down something when you go for lectures to help make things easier for you. And also, um, you need files to house all your photocopies and all your other printed materials as well. And then you need a desktop lamp, you know, to help you um, do your reading, especially if you're in a shared room or you have roommates, you know. Some of you prefer to study at dawn or late in the night and you know that um, putting on the light at such hours might not sit well with your roommate, so a desktop lamp would help you. Alright, so we move to the hostel or the hall essentials. And for that one, first on my list will be bedding. And by bedding, I'm not referring to a mattress. Okay, so you need blankets, um, bed sheets, comforters, pillow, pillowcases, and a cover cloth. You know, basically anything that will make your bed comfortable for you. You know, so that after a long day, you can just hop in and then rest. All right. So bedding aside, we we'll go to um, the kitchen stuff. You definitely need a mini fridge. Um, a heater, a microwave, a blender, some cooking utensils to help you cook your meals, a rice cooker as well, and then some plates, some bowls, some cups, and then a hot plate or an induction stove. And depending on your school, on your school, sorry, you can bring um, a gas cylinder, okay? Because um, for some schools it is strictly hot plates, but for some schools too, you can also bring um, the gas cylinder. Why am I saying this? For my school, for UCC, for example, um, during your first year, you can't bring a cylinder because you'll be at the halls, and after first year, you'll be required to move out of the halls to find your own accommodation. And most of the hostels won't mind you bringing a gas cylinder. So that is just about that. And also, you need some hangers for your clothes, some shoe rack to uh, house your shoes, some cleaning supplies, some personal effects like um, your towels, your cosmetics, and all of that. And for the provisions, you can get them at your own discretion, depending on what you want to, uh, let's say, bring. So that is just about that. You would also need some buckets and some bowls to help you with your laundry, some brushes and some mops and you know some dusters to help you clean your room as well, some kitchen napkins, some serving trays and you know some drinking cups and all that. So that is it for the postal supply. And lest I forget, you need curtains as well. Curtains for your windows, you know. We really don't want anybody <laughs> peeping, uh, uh, like peeping at you through the windows, you know. So the curtains will give you the privacy that you need. Then also some shower curtains for your bathroom, some doormats for the entrance of your bathroom and the entrance of your um, doors as well. And of course some plastic um, dust bins to you know house your waste and all that. So, so we move on to the personal fit or the clothing. And for that one, we have the loungewear. 
that is basically anything you wear when you don't have lectures or like the normal everyday attire you wear at home when you don't have anywhere fancy to go and then also some casual wear for lectures and that one too depending on the program that you study you can just put on anything casual but for some programs like let's say the health the business the law and all that shit. most of the time you require to dress formally so try and add some formal attire to the casual wear as well and also you need some presentation attire too the presentation attire too is very formal or what we normally call office wear or official wear try and get some to the popular color combination is black and white that is a black bottom and then a white top you know you can bring other colors as well but the key word is formal it has to look formal all right so then you can bring some dresses for your outings you know the kind of dresses that you wear when you have fancy places or parties to go feel free to bring them as well and then also um, attires for religious services like church and if you're a Muslim like the monks as well too and also for footwear try and get something that is quality and that is like durable something that would last because you're doing a lot of work and you need a footwear that can withstand all that friction so feel free to bring your flats your flip flops your sandals and then some heels for my ladies and then some sneakers and shoes for the guys as well Alright, so that is just some of the essential things that I feel you have to bring along once you are coming to campus. And also don't forget to bring um, your copies of your admission letter, essential cards like your health insurance and receipts of any financial transaction you made in the admission process. Alright, so make sure you have some money on you as well. And then of course come with your smartphones because you'll be joining a lot of WhatsApp platforms, you know, for your courses and for freshers and all of that. Alright, so um all too soon I bring this video to an end. I hope it helps you and I hope you'd enjoy it. If you have any specific questions, kindly state them in the comment section. Feel free to contact me on my social media handles as well. So until I come your way same time next week, it is bye for now.